Halloween, a time for dressing up as your favourite monster, tricks, treats and scares. But today, we're going to be looking at some scary video games. One in particular, Ghost House. One game that scared me most as a kid was Ghost House. Don't let the cover fool you. Most Sega covers were quite plain. Some just plain weird. But Ghost House didn't even begin to tell its tale with just a few measly bats. Ghost House was released in 1986 on the Sega Master System cartridge and the short-lived Sega card. You're Mick, a vampire hunter out to kill vampires in ghost houses. But things aren't that easy. There's bats, ghosts, and even these things. As a kid, they frightened me. Bouncing around and then stopping in front of you before they vomit a fiery breath. Much like Alex Kidd, you punch your way through the levels. Unless you manage to catch a sword, which makes things much easier. This game is kind of like a 2D platformer maze. The screens are vast and sometimes a maze to navigate with doors that take you to random locations and trap floors that keep you guessing. The goal is to find a key a random enemy may have. Once you have the key, you must find a coffin, open it up and fight a vampire. If you can defeat him, you obtain a gem. Once all five gems are obtained, you must find the exit door and move to the next ghost house. Killing vampires is not as easy as they fly around randomly trying to push you down at every move. It's better to either potluck punch them or wait for them to land and get a few punches in. It's one of the most frustrating and scary moments of the game as you go into a state of panic as the music plays and the coffin opens. <laughs> I haven't even mentioned the other forces at play here. Besides ghosts, bats, and other nasties, Fate Fours and Lava, which poses a threat when you're trying to run away from a vampire. The one advantage to combat is if you hit a light switch, you freeze all the enemies around you for a quick getaway or kill. For a Sega Master System game, there is a thick amount of gameplay. There's only three rounds to the game, but the difficulty quickly rises, making this one hard to beat in one sitting. Mick animates well from the crawling and punching. The only complaint is his ladder climb animation, which kind of look chopped together but the visuals are awesome. The details within the ghost house, such as lamps and fireplaces, show that there was much love put into this game. It holds its own as one of the more detailed Master System games in the library. Though there is only three songs in the game, each one complements each other. The title screen as a kid frightened me. I would actually turn down the sound because it gave me chills every time I booted it up. The level theme is a perfect kooky and creepy bit tune that is great for creeping around haunted houses. And when the vampire theme shows up, that feeling of fear sets in. The sounds too are just a perfect match for this game, and no sound really feels out of place. Ghost House is a game that I hold close to my heart. It scared me as a child, and it did a good job of making me jump at every turn. Even playing it now, it takes me back to the fear of opening a coffin and running for my life. The game is short, as I said, but the difficulty is very hard. The only downside, like I said, would be the boss fights, as they prove to be random and just crazy when you're in an area that you can't move or get an attack in. Still, this is a must-have for your Master System collection. Taking all that into account, I would give this probably an 8 out of 10. It is a perfect game for Halloween. There are other spooky games on the Master System, but this one holds out on its own. I hope you enjoyed the pilot episode of Sega Master. If you liked this episode, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to keep up to date with future episodes. Catch you guys next time. Oh, and happy Halloween.